Hi, I'm Kylie, and welcome to Farm Animals. Quack, quack, ba, nay. <laughs> In this video, you'll learn about all the farm animals, the names, the sounds they make, and some important information about them. Let's get a move on it. <laughs> Life on the farm with Farmer Rita is always busy. Farmer Rita is woken up early by a rooster who tells her it's time to milk the cow, collect the eggs from the hens, and till the wheat with her huge tractor. We get a lot of our food from farms. Farmers grow different fruits, vegetables, and grains that are sold at the market or the grocery store. The lettuce you buy at your local store comes from a farm. Do you know which animals live on the farm? Let's look at some of them now. There are two main groups of animals that live on the farm. There are animals with feathers and animals with fur. Let's start with the feathered animals first. This is a chicken. Cluck, cluck. <laughs> a chicken has feathers. Sometimes they have white feathers, but you might also find chickens with brown or black or a combination of colors. Wow. A male chicken is called a rooster and a female chicken is called a hen. What are baby chickens called? Yes, chicks. Beep, beep. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Roosters are known to cock-a-doodle-doo bright and early in the morning to alert the farmer and any farm helpers, including other animals, that the workday is starting. But the real job of a rooster on a farm is to protect the female chickens or hens and their eggs from predators. Predators are animals that eat other animals. So a rooster is like a security guard for the hens and the unborn chicks. A group of chickens is called a flock. A very similar animal that lives on the farm pond is called the duck. Male ducks are called drakes, and you can call a female duck a hen or a duck. Baby ducks are called ducklings, and they hatch from eggs. Quack, quack. <laughs> Duck feathers can be of different colors too. Ducks help keep pests from ruining the crops because they eat worms and slugs that can also eat up tomato plants and leafy greens. A group of ducks is also called a flock. An animal similar to a duck is a goose. Honk honk! <laughs> the word goose really is the word for the female and a male goose is called a gander. Baby geese are called goslings, and they also hatch from eggs, just like ducks. Geese are different from ducks because they don't eat bugs. They are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. They eat the weeds that can ruin a garden if there are too many of them. They clear the path around berries and fruit bushes by eating all of the weeds. A group of geese on the ground is called a gaggle. That's a fun word, gaggle. <laughs> when they are flying, the group is called a team. And when they fly close together, they are called a plump. <laughs> but most people say a flock of geese when talking about a group of geese. Turkeys are also raised on farms. Did you know that only male turkeys gobble gobble? Yes, it's true. Turkeys are interesting feathered animals. When they eat, they swallow small stones to help break down the food in their stomach. Ugh. <laughs> the stones help to grind up or digest the food because, like all birds, they don't have teeth. Male turkeys, or toms, have brightly colored heads but have no feathers on their head. The female turkey, or hen, has some feathers on her head. Baby turkeys are called chicks and they hatch from eggs. When we talk about a group of turkeys, we call them a flock. Now let's move on to farm animals with fur. Hair and wool are a type of fur and also belong in this category. The horse is a majestic animal that helps the farmer with many heavy jobs on the farm. Nay! <laughs> 
Farmers ride horses to move a large number of sheep or cattle from one place to another on the farm. Their hair can be of many different colors, and so can their mane, and also their tail. A male horse is called a stallion, a female horse is called a mare, and a baby horse is called a foal. A group of horses is called a herd. An animal that looks a lot like a horse, only smaller, is the donkey. <laughs> Donkeys often guard sheep, and also they are known to keep horses calm on the farm. Donkeys are usually gray in color, but they can also be different colors. The male donkey is called a jack, and the female is called a jenny. And just like a horse, the baby donkey is called a foal. You can call a group of donkeys a herd. Did you know that the child of a horse and a donkey is called a mule? A sheep is a woolly mammal that lives on a farm. Bah! <laughs> sheep graze or eat grass. They are nature's lawn mowers. The sheep's special fur is called wool and it's shaven to make yarn, which is used to make warm clothes like sweaters or scarves. A male sheep is called a ram. A female sheep is called an ewe, and a baby sheep is called a lamb. When we talk about a group of sheep, we call them a flock of sheep. Another animal you can find on a farm is a goat. Meh! <laughs> Just like sheep, goats also graze the land. Did you know that we can also get milk from a goat? The male goat is called a billy or a buck. A female goat is called a nanny and a baby goat is called a kid, just like you. Can you guess what a group of goats are called? They're called a herd, just like horses. Okay, here's another animal you know well. I bet you think this animal is called a cow. Well, it is, but a cow is actually the name for a grown-up female bovine. Moo! <laughs> you see, cows are part of the cattle family called bovines that include buffalo and oxen. The grown-up male bovine is called a bull. The mature female bovine is a cow. The baby is a calf. And more than one baby is called a group of calves. Farmers get milk from cows so that we can make cheese and other dairy products. If you ever drive past a farm, you might see a herd of cows eating grass to get healthy and strong. They spend up to six hours a day eating. Wow. A group of cattle is called a herd. And finally, this is a pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> pigs also live on farms. A lot of people think that pigs are dirty, but they are actually very clean and like to keep their living space clean. They are just as friendly and intelligent as dogs. A male pig is called a boar. The female pig is called a sow, and their babies are called piglets. So cute. A group of adult pigs is called a herd, but a group of baby pigs is called a litter, just like puppies. You have learned so much about some of the animals that live on a farm. Which is your favorite farm animal? You can learn more about animals with fur and feathers in the video called Fur, Feathers, Scales, and Skin. You can also learn about groups of animals in the video Animal Group Names. And finally, check out our other animal videos to learn about forest and zoo animals. As always, practice what you learned on our fun online games and quizzes. And always be cluck, 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 clever. <laughs> Hey! <laughs>